All right, dude, we're gonna try. We just got back from getting some stick electrode and we got, who's back there? What's your name? What's your name? Stinky. What'd you say? Stinky. Stinky, Linky. So we're gonna try a new project and uh, I got some aluminum angle iron and some old hardwood, solid wood bedroom doors. So uh, I'm gonna try to make a workbench and I'm gonna film the progress. Hopefully it goes good. Let's see. What do you say, Link? Yeah, so this is all the free aluminum that I got. I got like a mixture of stuff. I got like, look at this. Some quarter inch, uh, square stock, angle iron. So I'm gonna use this. Um, it's another project we're working on is some custom deck furniture. But uh, I'm gonna use this. I'll probably use this square stock as like my legs. I might weld up two of them together as like my leg joints. But uh, we'll see. We'll make it work. TGIF, everybody. I got a quick tip for you. And it's uh, welding aluminum with the stick machine using aluminum stick rod. So I'm gonna show you how it's possible. So I went and picked me up a two pound box of Crown Royal 300. You can see it's aluminum electrode. Uh, I'm actually working on a uh, project for an aluminum workbench. That's why uh, I'm using this machine I'm about to show you right now. So in order to use the rod, I'm using this Fronius Trans Pocket 180. So I'm set at about 75 amps. Uh, I am reverse polarity, so the, the ground and the stinger electrode are reverse. Um, I found that it works best for the aluminum rod. There's what it looks like after you're done welding. Look at those beautiful dimes. All right, guys. So here's part of our project. Uh, got these solid hardwood doors and we're gonna make these uh our tabletop for our workbench so i got all three pilgrims working on this right now so we got what's your name okay what are you doing um, taking the screws out all right what are you doing what's your name grayson i'm okay. taking the bolts out okay carter i already i just said your name what are you doing huh all right so we got two doors we got one door completely removed, and what we're gonna do is we gotta run the freaking Ace Hardware and pick up a 12 inch blade for my miter saw to cut this aluminum. So we'll be back. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically put my workbench here with the tables. So it'll be the center portion so I can lift stuff up, but. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this aluminum angle iron on this 2x6 right here. And then this will be my frame for those doors I just showed you. So uh, let's try it out. All right, I got to run to Ace Hardware and pick up a 12-inch steel cutting blade. <laughs> and I got three pilgrims in the back. One. What's so funny? <laughs> it's good in my dress. Come on, dude. Uh, you don't want to get that all over my car. Not leaky. It's so I end up getting this 12-inch cut-off uh, metal blade. Then I'm going to put my miter saw to cut the aluminum square stock and angle iron. And then I'm getting this dust mask. I'm going to put underneath my welding hood. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm telling you, the struggle's real. You know, you got three kids trying to work on this thing you know they find your tools put them wherever they want so can't find my tape measure so end up looking in one of our drunk drawers and found the small little guy yeah so it's like one of those things that you get for free <laughs> when you buy a certain amount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the width of this door that i'm going to turn into a tabletop and then i'm going to cut some angle iron so it can fit into the groove 
So we're sitting roughly about 30 inches. So I'm gonna cut the angle iron about 30. Yeah, so before I get started, I got a mask so I don't gotta breathe it in, but also I'm gonna use this welding hood. Um, just in case, you know, the cutoff wheel breaks and I don't want it to hit my face. I'm not looking to get stitches. So let's try it out. <laughs> Okay, I got all the, the legs cut. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld them up so I'll show you how I got it framed so far. All right, I got my four uh, workbench legs and basically it's uh, uh, two pieces of channel tubing. Aluminum, about an eighth inch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack weld probably every 10 inches or so until they're together and then I'm going to weld them to the bench as the legs. Alright so you can see I already got my uh, frame going on right now. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the legs and then uh, um, go from there. <laughs> Well, I got the, the frame up, the four legs, and, you know, since I'm just an average dude, I didn't even think about having some legs in the center, so I got to cut four more uh, pieces of aluminum and weld them up, and then I should be good on the frame part so I can put the, the doors in for my tabletop. Uh, anyways, check it out. All right, got the legs in. All right, looks good, looking good. Did you do that? What? Did you do that? 
I need to come check on you. You done? Almost. Do the other thing. My wife's gonna kill me. Look at that. Burnt holes in my shoes. I better go change into work boots. See ya. And complete.